Hey guys, okay, so I just randomly decided to do a little bit of a barn vlog. It is Christmas Day, so I won't be doing too much, but I, I do have a race this weekend, and Fancy is still a little bit chunky. So what I've decided to do is I'm just going to lunge her, and you're not going to believe what I did to her today. Because I took a couple of pictures um, with her, and you're not going to believe what I actually had the balls to do today. So... Stay tuned and figure it out. So you guys are not going to believe what I did to her. Especially those of you guys. Uh, those of you guys who know me are really not going to believe what I did to her. Because this is not something that I would do. And I can't believe I actually did it. I've been thinking about doing it for a long time. And I finally did it today. So you guys are about to see. The new and improved fancy. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> I cut her mane off. It looks really like weird <laughs> right now, but like you guys probably haven't really seen her up close like that. But this part of her mane used to literally go down to like here. So I cut like a good couple of inches off of it. Um, yeah, that's completely insane. <laughs> Those of you who know me are probably thinking, what the hell were you thinking? Um, because I have been trying to go her mane since I've had her, and that's like three years, and she came with a good mane. It just started getting really, really thin at the ends, and I was not liking that, and it got to the point where it was so long that I had to braid it up to ride, and in order to, no, Nolly, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not coming, Jesus, and in order to, um, like run her like at a race or something I actually had to do a running braid on it and that started getting really 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 annoying because oh there's a bee <laughs> um but that started getting really really annoying because it takes a lot of time and a lot of work <laughs> to do it <laughs> it still is kind of long so I'm gonna test it out this weekend when I run and we'll see if it actually um makes the difference like if I actually cut it enough or if I need to cut it more for it to actually make a difference I'll still probably braid it up a little bit but I don't want to have to do the running braid anymore which I don't even think it'll be able to do a running braid anymore because of how short it is but um yeah so that's kind of my reasoning for doing it and I feel like it's a lot healthier now because like I said it was getting really thin at the bottom and just breaking off really easily so I just went ahead and chopped it off. And since it is winter time, Fancy's not gonna notice too much of a big difference, but um, I feel like if I maybe keep it this length until the summertime, she will probably appreciate it very, very much because her neck will be able to breathe a little bit more than normal. And this is the kind of horse that will sweat her happy little butt off in 35 degree weather, even if I'm rarely doing anything with her. So. She's a horse that sweats just an absolute ton. Also, if you guys are looking for like a really easy way to get your horse back in shape, long trotting is like the best thing ever. I will actually long trot, well just recently, just because she's been in, she's been very chunky since her injury and everything and I haven't been riding all that much, but since we're getting back into it with the new year and everything, um, my horse is the type of horse that will go forever. Like she could literally run until her legs fall off with being out of shape. Um, but like on a ride where I'm really just like working on her cardiovascular and I'm just not doing very much, just getting her a lot of really good exercise, I will trot her each direction, like long trotter, each direction for 15 minutes. And let me tell you, it's a workout for you too. I freaking hate doing it because she's all like, like I said, she's always wanting to go faster and faster and faster. So when she does do that, She's constantly pulling on me and constantly trying to run through the bit the entire 30 minutes, but um, she does work up a really good sweat. She actually looks really, really good right now that I'm looking at her while she's moving around me a good bit, but I'm doing the same thing in the round pin right now. I'm just having her, um, I'm letting her kind of pick her pace though. She wants to trot or lope. Um, either way, she's just going to be moving for 30 minutes straight and... Uh, that's just gonna get her a lot of good cardio. But I have also learned that, you know, long trotting 
is what's going to lean your horse out more and cantering or loping is what's going to build up more body mass and build up more muscle. Um, of course, long trotting does build up muscle too. And I personally think long trotting is better to do if you're going to do like a really long workout. Um, if you're like just focusing on getting your exercise, but I would not just jump into doing 15 minutes. If your horse is out of shape, like 15 minutes each direction, I would start at like five and do like five. And I wouldn't do that exact workout every day either. So like I'll do, I would do it every other day. Maybe if your horse is really out of shape and do like a start with like five minutes each direction, long trotting. And then if they seem to handle that pretty good and weren't completely dead, I would go ahead and move to seven minutes the next like the next time you do that exercise but if they do I would stick to if they do have an issue with the five minutes or not even an issue but you just feel like they're a little bit winded and they could use doing five minutes again I would do five minutes until you feel like they're getting in better shape and then up to seven and then up to ten and then up to fifteen is what I did and now she act, like for me she looks really really good compared to what she was looking like I'll insert some pictures is what of what she looked like when I first started riding her again after her injury and after me just taking a break too. Um, she's on a round bale 24 seven and she gets half a scoop of grain in the morning and she's out in a pasture all the time. Um, of course, right now in these months in Oklahoma, the grass is all dead, so they don't really eat it, but I have really, really green hay. Um, so they do keep weight. Re my girls really keep weight really, really easily. Um, so these are just kind of a little, some exercises that I do. Um, if I don't feel like riding like today, which I should be riding, but um, I do want to get home and spend some time with my family since it is Christmas. Um, I did decide to just bring her out and still work her. So she is still getting worked. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I probably won't get to ride tomorrow, but hopefully um, Thursday morning I'll be able to come out and at least ride in my pasture. Um, probably not in the arena, but still just exercise her in the pasture. And then uh, Friday, I Friday I'll probably do work on some barrels if I can, if it's dry enough. And then Saturday I have my race. So that's kind of like a little quick overview of kind of my pre-run week type of thing, at least as of right now. Because Fancy has a still has like a little couple of issues with her hip. And um, with her hip issues, it actually takes her, like she'll still limp a little bit when she starts warming up. But once she gets warmed up, she's good. So I typically do lunger before I ride her anyway, so she can kind of just get that hip loosened up and I'll stretch her really good um, just before I get on her so she is nice and loose and I don't cause her any pain. And I do have a lot of butte and some pills that the vet gave me on hand in case it does start to bother her more than normal. to having a horse that I did a lot of groundwork with when I bought her she just likes to she'll just go around and around and around I won't really have to ask her to do much as I sit here on the mounting block and that's very encouraging I love that especially when we're lunging for longer periods of time like this but for some reason our um her like lunging her don't stop lunging her for um 30 minutes feels a lot shorter than riding her for 30 minutes. She's such a good girl. She listens so well. I'm used to riding like hunter horses and Western Pleasure horses before I got her. So when I got her, I was like, oh, her mane is getting in my mouth. Like, <laughs> like her head is literally straight up in the air. And, I, and we've worked on it quite a bit. Like she, she breaks at the pole and she'll drop her head if I ask her to, but when she's hot, and she's ready to run, that head comes up so high and she'll stick her nose so far out that I can see the white on the top of her head from, like on the front of her face from uh, the saddle. So I hate that, that really does bother me. That's probably my biggest pet peeve about this horse. But I do love her with all my heart and I can never get rid of her. She's my best friend. <laughs> oh my God, her mane looks so short, this is crazy. I feel like I actually did a pretty good job cutting it though. I mean, I used to cut show horses mane, so I feel like I was, it's just been a while, so I was kind of worried. But it actually, it's kind of good. Like, it's not like the cut is, like, ugly and horrible. And I tried to make it, like, choppy, so 
it didn't look like a show cut, like it was straight across. Pretty happy with it, actually. I'm interested to see what it's gonna look like when it starts growing. Okay, so I'm not sure how good you guys can see this, but so I have, um, she has about seven minutes left going this direction and then she'll be done. Um, but if you can see, she has built up quite a bit of sweat right up here on her neck and under on her flank, it's getting pretty good. But her neck and her chest is really what will sweat the most. That was a pretty good view of it. Good girl, come here, come here. Good girl. Good girl. As you guys can see, homegirl is sweaty. But she's looking really good. Whoa. The bottom of her belly is super cut now. It still has a lot of room for improvement for her because she used to have a very cut body. You don't see me. Look how short that is. That's crazy. Super, super sweaty on both sides. What a good girl. What a good girl. Well, not a surprise. I did end up riding Miss Denali. I didn't ride fancy because obviously I lunged her for so long. Um, I just figured I should ride Denali because we're about to get like 10 inches of rain tomorrow. And she's the one that probably needs to be ridden more than anybody else. Um, just so I can start exhibitioning her in the spring-ish time. Um, so yeah, she has been doing decent. I just started like trotting her, semi-loping her around the barrels. She's just super freaking lazy. So I have to really work on installing a gas pedal in her because she's very lazy. So I'm hoping she grows out of that because she does have quick feet, but it's only when she wants to. So we kind of have to teach her how to use it and when to use it. Miss Cutie, she's so cute. I love her to death. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm just going to untack, um, brush her down, and call it a day here at the barn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to. And follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right down here. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later.